Scientism. And scientism. Scientism. And scientism. As it is written in the book of the prophet Aristosthenes, thou shalt not question, for the earth is a sphere. Give praise to our God science, for you shall have no other gods before it. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? Flat earthers don't deserve opposable thumbs. Down in the mud, you unevolved little worms. Whoa there, Pastor Oswald. Take a chill pill, dude. Relax. I got this, man. I'll admit, the first time I heard a flat earther use the term scientism, this is exactly what I thought. Now, flat earthers do give us one good piece of advice. Do your research. So I did. And I found out that scientism and science isn't exactly the same thing. Now, I can hear some of you asking yourselves, What's the difference? Well, I'm glad you asked. And to help answer this question, I'm going to ask one of my favorite flurfs, Little Orphan Red, to assist me. Take it away, Orphan Red. I really see Flat Earth as a strong warrior against scientism. I really think it plays an important role. Hold up a minute there, Little Orphan. Before we get into the benefits of flat earth as you see them, maybe we should define scientism. And how I define scientism is blind faith belief in whatever people think science is saying. Okay, that is a definition of scientism, but scientism is actually a little deeper than that. Scientism is actually a philosophy that incorporates scientific knowledge and combines it with theism, philosophy, art, and other forms of human thought and tries to create a worldview. That is, how do I see the world? How do I see my place in it? What meaning can I ascribe to my place in the world and the universe as it exists around me? So even if they don't even understand it, they accept it as truth. Even if they have misunderstood the science, they still believe with zealousness that their misinterpretation of what science has said is the truth and is the divine truth, it's unquestionable truth, right? Now, I have met a lot of people who don't understand the basic concepts of science. And I have met a lot of people who don't understand what science is saying on a day-to-day -day basis. But I have yet to see any of those people take everything at blind, zealous faith to attack people who don't agree. Unless you want to include flat earthers. Now, I have seen them misunderstand science, and I have seen them completely reject science and use their arguments of denial to zealously bludgeon those of us who don't agree with them. I think when I talk about scientism, I'm talking about the religion that has replaced actual science. Well, no, science isn't a religion. A religion is defined as a theology or philosophy which creates a worldview with little or no supporting evidence, usually derived from holy books such as the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, and many others. Science, on the other hand, is simply asking the question, if you boil it down into a nutshell, how does the universe work? Science in general does not offer a worldview. It simply attempts to answer this simple basic question. What you do with the answers and incorporate it into your worldview yourself is irrelevant to science. And it's a religion because it is a set of beliefs and they're slightly dogmatic, right? And there are all these practices and rituals that go along with this system of beliefs. And these rituals include the scientific method and they include the discourse and, and how you're allowed to probe science and how you're allowed to probe scientists and what you're allowed to question and what you're not allowed to question. And even the practice of ridiculing those people who dare to question or challenge what you think science has said even that is a ritual of the religion. No, science is not a set of beliefs, and no, the scientific method is not a ritual. 
The word beliefs implies opinions that may or may not be supported by evidence for or against. Science uses observation and experimentation in order to find evidence for or against its basic understanding of the question, how does the universe work? Actually, very little in science is considered to be completely irrefutable. The scientific method is not a ritual in the religious sense. In actuality, it's more akin to a language, which allows scientists to be able to communicate in a more meaningful way. So, there is... To me, whenever you have blind faith, that's unscientific. Because in science, you should be able to look at the data, look at the evidence, and... Uh, analyze it, investigate it, assess it. You should be able to look to see not just do the conclusions sound plausible, but the interpretation that was used to go from the data, the raw data, to the conclusion. What about that interpretation? Is it a valid interpretation? Does that interpretation make assumptions? Does it come with a biased worldview? Does it include prejudices? Because all interpretations inevitably do. And what you just described is the scientific method. And the scientific method exists to remove the biases of an individual's beliefs and worldviews from the conclusions that are being drawn. And part of the scientific method is the peer review process, which further refines removing the biases and opinions and worldviews of the conclusions. So given that this is what you want science to do, and this is exactly what science does, I am starting to become at a loss for what your argument is. And so that's what I feel like I'm fighting against is scientism. It's that dogmatic, rigid, blind faith system and the zealots of science. And that's another sign of a, of a religious system rather than a... Uh, a method that you use to find truth, to find knowledge. You have zealots. So you have these zealots of scientism who are trying to defend their God, their, their religion, and they're attacking anyone that they think is somehow challenging their religion. But are you fighting against scientism or are you supporting it? Which side of this debate between flat earth and globe earth are actually the zealots supporting their god of their beliefs. No one that I can find in my own community is saying that science can't be questioned. Nobody in my community is saying that scientists shouldn't be held accountable, especially since a lot of their funding comes from public funds. In fact, many people in my community are performing experiments. Many people in my community are questioning whether or not science is accurate. And they are finding out that yes, science is accurate. By contrast, people in the flat earth community are just saying, nuh uh, when evidence is offered, and then offering their religious points of view, saying, the Bible, without any real understanding of science or the Bible. Whereas if you were actually just a fan of science, a fan of the pursuit of knowledge, when people challenge science, you would see that as scientific. It is part of science to challenge the beliefs in science, the, 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 the statements that science makes. That's what science is all about. It's about saying, here are these things that we think about the world and are they true, are they not true? Uh, what evidence can we ca can we accumulate to test out whether they're true or not true? What are our theories about these things? And, and how do our theories fit together? That's science. Yes, I can completely agree with everything you just said right here. That is the way science works. And that is how my debunking peers approach science. The reason we are debunkers is because our observation and experimentation support science. Our observation and experimentation can find no evidence to support the flat earth idea at all. So a flat earther saying, I'm analyzing the globe model and I'm finding flaws in it and I want to discuss it. And my theory is that the earth is actually flat. And here's some of the data that I've collected that seems to support my theory. That is science. 
And just to be crystal clear here, no one of my peers or myself have a problem with people asking questions. What we have a problem with is when the answers are just rejected out of hand because it doesn't support their worldview. And that is why I asked you if you are actually fighting against scientism or supporting it. Because scientism is actually espousing a worldview. Science is not. Flat earthers are espousing a worldview. Flat earth debunkers are not offering a worldview. Like anybody else in science, we don't particularly care how you take the information and incorporate it into your worldview. What we're saying is, don't dismiss the information because you don't like it. Ridiculing people who do that is not standing up for science. It's actually destroying science because what you're doing is you're becoming a zealot for scientism. And that is an oppressive religion that doesn't allow itself to be challenged outside of the parameters that it has set for itself. So let me get this straight. You want to question science, but you don't want science to question you or your peers. I'm sorry, but now who's becoming the zealot? And I'll be very clear about this again. The only reason flat earthers are being ridiculed is because they're just rejecting any information that doesn't support their worldview. They tend to cherry pick things that do support their worldview instead of looking at all the information as a whole. Right? How do we establish truth? And, and how do we go about determining what is acceptable to ask when it comes to our investigation of what is true, right? Well, if you're asking about what is truth, well, now you're offering a philosophical discussion, not a scientific one. Science doesn't look into truth. It looks into evidence. And that evidence is a discussion of what we know or think we know about the nature of the universe and how it works. It has nothing to do with truth and our place in the universe. And this idea that you just posed is one of the reasons I say you are not fighting scientism, but supporting a form of scientism, because you want the truth, which has to do with worldview. And so I feel like when people start saying, this is what we've decided, and you're not allowed to challenge that, and if you do, then we hate you and you're a Nazi or right. Like I think that there's a problem there. And yes, I'll agree with you. There is a problem there, but it is not with me and my debunker community. It is with the flat earth people because the flat earth people are the ones who are saying you're nasty and you're making this personal and we hate you. But what you're feeling to see is that there's nothing personal in our debunking. We may make fun of you, but it's not personal. We're making fun of the idea, not the person. Flat earthers, in contrast, make it very personal with insults about a person's sexuality or orientation or very anti-Semitic remarks. This statement of yours is exactly what we mean by projection. You're taking you and your community's behavior and transposing it onto us where that behavior does not exist. And so anyone who attacks flat earthers, anyone who mocks flat earthers, ridicules them, puts them down, bashes flat earthers, they are outing themselves as religious zealots, as anti-science. And again, we have a double standard that you're trying to hold. You want to be able to question us and science as a whole, but you don't want us to question you or your peers. Now, why is that? Could it possibly be because your position is completely untenable? Could it possibly be that no one in Flat Earth has any evidence to support their claims at all? And given the level of denial and logical fallacy that you and your peers use, you really have to wonder why people like me make fun of that? Because Flat Earth is the epitome of science. It's, it's us. It's individuals and we're searching for truth and we're searching for knowledge about our world and we're doing it in our own way. We're, we're, we're getting together. We're saying, look, this is this data I've collected and how can we interpret it in an unbiased way and what conclusions can we draw from it? That is science, right? 
Uh, no, actually, it's not science. Because if it were science, you would be actually be offering some evidence that would support a claim of a flat stationary Earth. Or at the very least, using the scientific method to show why the conclusions that science has come up with that we have a globe Earth is incorrect. But the only thing I hear coming from flat Earthers is, but no, -uh. that's not an argument. And if you're looking for truth, as I said before, take a philosophy class. And these religious zealots of scientism, they think science only happens at universities, at CERN, where people are published by in these journals that are controlled. And, and the, the peer review, which is basically just people who have a vested interest in not having their own theories uh, upended or, or disproven, right? Like, the, the, that's a... That's a diff that's a system. That's a set of beliefs and it's a set of practices and it's a set of rituals. It's a religion. And no, science does doesn't happen in the ivory tower universities. And we've already established that science is not a religion. You could do science, I can do science. Any Joe schmuck on the street can run a scientific experiment. And pretty much almost anybody who has the money to put up for it can offer a paper for peer review, but they damn well better be prepared for some ridicule if they're wrong or very unscientific. Because I will tell you, if you think we're hard on flat earthers, trust me, we have nothing on how scientists will treat each other. And if you truly think the peer review process is about people patting each other on the back and protecting their little golden eggs, you are sadly mistaken. So, and that's why I get so angry at people in my comment section that try to pretend to themselves that they're somehow standing up for science by bashing me, by bashing flat earth, by mocking, ridiculing, putting down all of this negative, by hating us, um, by thumbing down my videos. Uh, that is anti-science and no 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 that is not anti-science kiddo what you're really saying is you don't have anything to offer and you don't want to be questioned and your stubborn refusal to offer any real scientific evidence is exactly why you're being ridiculed all you have to do is offer one just one piece of evidence that supports your claim and it and what i find is that a lot of these people are typically kind of low level mm, powerless in real life maybe they have like only first year physics or you know they're they have engineering so they have a little bit of physics but then they feel like that makes them somehow defenders of science but they don't even know what science is because they're actually just defending their religion so let me get this straight you don't want science being just in the hands of the ivory tower scientists. You don't want it to just be at CERN or at LIGO or at Cambridge. But when a non-scientist with a good working knowledge of science will stand up and say, no, the flat earth is baloney, you go ballistic and say, but you're not a real scientist. Are we trying to have it both ways here? And I find that if you wanted to, if you think your religion is under attack, then, and you want to defend your religion, okay, but then acknowledge that it's a religion that you're defending. But if you're saying that you're standing up for science, you're not. And I actually am trying to stand up for science. I am trying to defend science from the corruption of these people, these, these, zealots i feel like they're corrupting science and that's what i'm trying to defend so <laughs> no you're not defending science it's pretty clear that what you're doing is practicing your own version of scientism your entire video has been nothing more than a straw man argument in which you try to conflate the two terms science and scientism while projecting the failings of your own flat earth community onto us because let's face it, when you don't have any evidence, all you have left is to attack the credibility of the opposition. And I know what you're probably going to say, Little Miss Red. I'm not attacking your credibility. I'm actually attacking your argument. And I fully invite a rebuttal video from you on this topic. I'd even be willing to go on something like the Non Sequitur Show and have a live debate in front of a live audience with you on this topic. 
But somehow, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, folks, that's it for today. Please let me know what you think of this topic in the comments section below. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. I don't care which side of the fence you're on. Any and all comments are welcome, with the caveat that they're not vulgar or racist.